our shift of the day. It's a real chance to sit back and take stock. Literally because of um, stock checking. <laughs> um, sorry, sir, we're closed. I want some fucking McNuggets, man. Excuse me? McNuggets. I want some. Um, well, actually, um, so the muck nugget is the registered trademark of the McDonald's Corporation. Um, unless, of course, you mean our famous mock nuggets, which are made from reconstituted soy bits. Get me my McNuggets. OK, OK. Mary, could you please get him some McNuggets? Yep, coming up. I'll just... I'll just go over to here. I'm sorry, Joe, just so you know, I'm not proud of what I'm doing. That'll be about three minutes. Do you want a sauce? Yep. Mr. Bagshaw, we'll see you now. Good morning, Mr. Wong. Greetings, Your Highness. Clive is fine. Yes, he is. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Angela said you had an urgent matter. I do. Feast your eye holes on this. This isn't the amateur pornography filmed at the Woking branch, is it? Because I've reviewed that footage many, many times from every available angle. This was taken last night from our CCTV camera. A man entered the premises with a knife, and our manager, Mary Fawn, left one of our staff for dead. Why are you here? Well, surely this kind of lily-livered cowardice is grounds for dismissal. Well, she needs to go. Well, you need a new manager. <laughs> One who isn't afraid to come into head office with their roommate's laptop and show you the truth. This isn't really enough. Oh, that's how it is. Not enough. Excuse me? Well, I happen to see in the company newsletter that you're a keen golfer. Yes. Let's say... You were to happen to receive a shiny new bag of golf sticks and balls. And let's say I were to be made manager instead of Mary. Doesn't that sound like a lovely thing? I actually have a meeting. I'll be back. And I'll be seeing you later. Please don't. I was never here. Sorry, it's my mum's laptop. Thought you said it was your roommate's. Yes, yeah, she's my roommate. Right. I was never here. I forgot my keys. I was never here. Here's some fried chicken. Ain't no thing like a... <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can't creep up on me like that. You look at it, drop kitty you like, mmm! Right, scary. What's up with you? Place got done last night by some chief with a blade. That's some serious shit. Christ, was anyone hurt? Don't worry about it, baby girl. Anyone wants to come in here and start some shit, I'm gonna be like, hey ya! Very reassuring. Morning. Ed just told me there was someone with a knife in here last night. Yeah, I, I was on shift. God. You never imagined it could happen somewhere like this. Really? OK, uh, everyone, beaks up. Um, just quick uh, team meeting, that's it. Just all them um, stuff we do. Now, we need to talk about last night's incident. And let's lead with the positive here, OK? That guy must have really liked our nuggets. So we, we're clearly doing something right. <laughs> No, this is um, something called a feelings flowchart. This attack has been hard on all of us, OK? And we need to explore these feelings, not bottle them up. We need to talk and, and communicate. Let it flow. Well, actually, I'm quite freaked out. All right, don't rabbit on about it. Have a look at the flowchart. Now, if it 
happens again, I want you to all be on your guard, okay? Just a, a little tip, if you are uh, dealing with confrontation, it, it helps if you've got nothing left to live for. At least that's, that's what I found since my soulmate, Gareth, kicked me out. It's like I always say, isn't it? Please don't leave me, Gareth. Please don't go. What you giving us advice for? You run and hid in a damn freezer. We nearly had to defrost your cowardly ass. Well, I was actually, um, looking for weapons, but there were none to be found. Isn't that where we keep all our knives? Yes, well, I'm glad that you made that point, actually, Amara. Let's get those doors open, then, shall we? <laughs> yes, fasten your seat belts, everyone. Here comes the morning rush. And uh, what can we uh, do for you this morning, sir? Jo, can you get the mop and bucket uh, straight away? Oh, Derek. Hi. Yes, come in. Thank you. Sit down. Derek, why do you think you are deputy manager? Because Bobby McAllister was found masturbating into the onion rings. Oh, well, that, I just assumed it was because you've worked here a very long time. And because you've got a wise head on your shoulders. I need your head now, Derek. I've lost the respect of my staff. They think I'm a coward. And it hurts, Derek. It hurts. You know, this is the lowest I've felt since Gareth insisted I see other people. You want to win back their respect? And more than anything. You know, all I've ever wanted from my team is respect and impeccable fryer hygiene. Or fry gene, as I like to say. No, I'm sorry, this is no time for levity. Speak to me, Derek. Give me your head. Permission to speak freely, boss? Please do. It's going to take drastic measures. Morales, lull. Your coward has left a bad taste in the mouth. Like Bobby McAllister's onion rings. But I have to try. Guide me, Derek. Pour me a glass of your mind juices. Tell them you're going to resign. Pull on your sword. Tell them that's how ashamed you are of your behaviour, that you're a yellow-bellied good for now, and they don't deserve those kind of willy-nilly leadership techniques. Admit that you're a festering boil on the knob end of corporate oversight. Yes, I, yes, I get it, thank you, do. Yes, and they'll realise how much they need you, and they'll be on their hands and knees begging you to stay. But what if they don't realise I'm bluffing, and they all just really want me to go? I mean, isn't that a bit dangerous? Yes, it is. But, Mary, it's a risk I'm willing to let you take. Thank you, Derek. You've been a true friend and colleague. Uh, frolic. Um, it's a new word. What's going on with you and Amara? What do you mean, what's going on? There's nothing going on. She doesn't want to go out with me. And you're letting that stop you? I once nearly married a girl who put a restraining order on me. One man's stalking is another man's persistence. You feel me? You want some advice? Not really. You're too ugly for her, bro. All right, now, see, what you've done there is you've confused the word advice with the word abuse. I'm just being honest. That's what best friends are for. We're not friends. You just keep talking to me. She's gorgeous. You're not. Suck Beauty and the Beast. Well, no offence, mate, but you are the beast. I got that. In Beauty and the Beast, yeah, she's basically just getting it on with a lion, right? I'm sure he's got a nice little suit on. But it's still tantamount to bestiality. You're not helping. Ah. I'll tell you what you do. Show her some romance. Wait till she's not on shift and she orders a pizza. You knock on the door and you go, big sausage pizza delivery. You got the pizza box down here by her balls. You open the lid and guess what's poking out through the middle? A topping she didn't order. Your penis, bang! <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Why? It's funny. It's clever. It's a great icebreaker. Well, it's not going to work because A, it's basically sexual assault. And B, we don't deliver pizza. So negative, man. But you'll change your mind. And when you do, make sure you let the pizza cool first. Because third degree burns in your dick no fun. You know how mayonnaise is made from eggs? I do now. Well, whenever I eat chicken nuggets with mayonnaise, I always feel bad for dipping the chicken in the remains of its unborn children. What? That's why I can't eat hummus and falafel together either, because those chickpeas could have been friends. 
I like you, Joe. Oh, thanks, Chantal. You make me realize my dickhead son isn't such a fucking loser after all. Huh? Still can't believe we got robbed last night. Yeah, I mean, some guy put a knife to my throat just because he wanted some nuggets. So what did you actually do? Well, I just... Beat him up! He beat him up, didn't you? Ed. All the adrenaline got pumped up into him and he disarmed the perp, took him down. Really? Well, it wasn't quite like that. Don't be so modest, man. He might not look like much, but he's been taking self-defence classes. He took that guy down street fight style. Hadouken! Did he, Chantal? Sure. Why not? Well, it's always the type you don't expect, isn't it? Good on you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, uh, my natural instincts just kicked in, I suppose. That and my lightning fast martial arts skills. And this next guy comes in. Ed. Uh, he pulls out a gun and goes, screw the nuggets. I'm going to rape you. He's going to rape you? Uh, well. But it was cool, because Joe was just like, in your face, you rapist. And then he pulls out a kitchen knife and goes, <laughs> bang. Straight through the guy's arm, neutralised. That's exactly how it went down. That's not true. But I did disarm him. And he just ran out of there. Like a big... pussy. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, that's my man Joe. He also makes a mean big sausage pizza. Mm. With meatballs. What are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Bagshaw, fancy seeing you here. I'm just here having a little date with a hoisin and duck wrap. It's going pretty well, I'll have you know. She's fully undressed and I can see right up her cucumber. OK. Your branch isn't anywhere near here. Straight to business, is it? That's why you're Clive Bagshaw, I suppose. You don't get to become Clive Bagshaw by not getting straight down to business, do you? I really must go. I, I have an appointment. Don't forget your nice new golfing sticks. <laughs> I think you'll find they're top of the range of the second-hand ones I can find on eBay. You can't accept bribes, Mr. Warren. Sir, you should know, Miss Fawn is resigning, so you'll be looking for a new manager. Really? I... I don't think so. Oh, I do think so. She'll be announcing it this afternoon. So, I'm going to put these golfing sticks into the back of your vehicle. And you're going to drive away and no one's going to know. This won't do, Derek. Oh, not enough, is it? Not enough to grease your palm with. I shall return then with more of that slippery, slippery grease you so enjoy. Leave me alone. I understand, my liege. Um, OK, just, just quickly, um, can everyone just um, uh, listen, just uh, before the um, post-school rush uh, hits us, I need to tell you all something and it's about last night. Um, I admit it. I abandoned my post and I left Joe alone. But I need you all to know that I care about seriously fried chicken. I mean, it's all I think about since Gareth and I parted ways after that awkward camping holiday. I love this place. I yearn for its success. In fact, I love it so much and I respect you all so much that after my actions, I am left with no choice here. No choice. But to resign. Unless, of course, anyone has any uh, objections. I mean, I'd, I'd leave, you know, I wouldn't work here anymore. I'm going to walk out those doors. Today! Yeah. Today, I'm, I'm going to leave here and go out into a world where, I'll, I'll be honest here, I don't have too much going on. <laughs> it's, my, it's my family, well, yes, but my father left when I was small, so it was just mother and I, or Susan, she preferred to be addressed. 
We parted ways one Mother's Day or Susan's Day. Anyway, this is uh, this is how it's going to be. I'm uh, quitting. This is how the cookie has crumbled. Right, well, I suppose I have to leave now because I've quit quite pub publicly. <laughs> right, off I go. Just um, let's go and pack up my things. <clears throat> Derek, stick a spork in me. I'm done. Well, you've had a good run. I wanted to walk in the footsteps of other great leaders that have trodden this path. Ronald MacDonald, Colonel Sanders, the Burger King. But how am I supposed to grow a global corporation if I let my team down like I did like that? You know, a great person once said, how am I going to grow a global corporation if I let my team down like I did like that? That person was you. You were a great leader. But now it's time to leave. And maybe before you do, call back Shaw and tell him to appoint a new leader. Oh, I don't know, Derek. Maybe it was time to pack it all in anyway. I could do something crazy. You know, change my life completely. Pizza or something. Yeah, something like that. Now go on, get out of here, piss off. I know what you're doing, Derek. <laughs> you want me to stay, so you're using reverse psychology. Well, it's too late. Even though I love this place more than anything in the world. I mean, more than I love the children I could have had with Gareth if he hadn't have insisted on finishing on the bath mat. No, it's, it's time for me to leave. But it's good to know that someone cares about me being here. Right, yes, I'll take good care of her. I'll navigate the rocky shoals of customer satisfaction and whether we have enough cheese. Dear God, I think we're out of cheese. Well, I suppose I'd better be off then. I'll be fine, you know. Hey, don't mind the Reeboks, yeah? Yeah, I just wanted to check that the items had been delivered to a Mr. Bagshaw from WOM. Derek WOM. OK, great. Delivery for you, Clive. He's going to kill me, isn't he? You got your attacker in the headlock, and what you do is you use their strength to um, flip them onto their back. It's kind of like. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do that right now because it would probably really hurt you, probably break your back. Could you please let me go? Oh. That's your first self-defence class. Namaste, Padawan. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. We've managed to make this job marginally less boring. Hey, keep up with these lessons and pretty soon you'll be able to take on Chantel. <laughs> Touch me and you'll need two nose jobs. Mate, you're so in, you're practically inside her. You're dancing around her kidneys, man. I told you lying was the only way you're going to get a slice. We're really starting to bond. It's like she sees me in a completely different light. You know what you do? Invite her on holiday. Don't you think that's a bit soon? Yeah, but that's why it's brilliant. Anyone can ask someone out on a date. Let's go cinema. Let's go bowling. No one ever says, come with me on holiday for like six weeks. Does that work? Yeah, because shows that you're serious. Serious enough to invite them out to the Gambia on a whim. That's romance. If you're the girl, it's only polite to have sex with a guy who's taking you out to the Gambia on a whim. That's a long flight. Hey, bruv, heard you like to give out free nuggets, innit? Since when did everyone start robbing chicken restaurants? There's a Nando's opposite. They make shitloads more money than us. Come on, hurry up. Your money on your nuggets, bitch. Watch it, mate. It didn't end well for the last person who pointed a knife at this guy. Oh, for real? You're some kind of hero now. No, 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 no. I didn't disarm anyone. I just gave him the nuggets. 
I even threw in some fries and... What? You lied? I just wanted to impress you. Bruv, that's so gay! How's it gay if he's trying to impress a girl? Shut up, chicken yeah. boy! And you, you better get that two open, yeah? Ah! We're doomed! Drop your weapon! Please don't hurt me. I don't want to hurt you. But I'm the manager of Seriously Fried Chicken and I will defend to the death the brave men, women and children that work here. OK, I can see you are very brave. I don't think I can defeat you. You are too strong as a manga. Manager. What? Manager. Oh, right. As a manager. Oh, and as a beautiful, soft skinned woman. Gosh. Now get out of here! And that is how you handle an attacker. You know, I was willing to risk my own life. And, you know, I don't know, I just think maybe that proves how much I do deserve to run this place. See, I, I have a dream. You know, that one day that Seriously Fried Chicken will be the third, if not possibly joint second best, fast food establishment in the whole of the Croydon area. Come on, guys, let's all dream together. That man's back. Jesus Christ. What the hell are you doing here? How do you know where I live? Well, there's no law against following someone wherever they go. There actually is. Here's the thing. I may have made a bit of a mistake. What? Braving me? Stalking me? Yes, that. But Mary isn't actually going anywhere. She's staying. <laughs> and I got a bank loan out to buy all those things for you. Except the blender, which I borrowed from a roommate. You mean your mother? Yes. She loves to blend. I should fire you for all this. Oh, please don't. <laughs> I've given everything to seriously fried chicken. Please, I'm... I'm begging you. I'll keep the clubs. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Bradshaw. Thank you. You've made me very happy. <laughs> Yo, what's tall, blonde, frothy, and loves me to suck on it? Uh, beer? Your mum in a bubble bath. Bang! <laughs> Should have asked her on holiday. My mum? Princess Jasmine. Now you have to stalk her proper. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Love is crazy, man. Sometimes love means following someone around, learning their routine, until you're ready to make your move. What? You mean, use what you've learned? to engineer a romantic encounter? Nah, copy her keys, wait till she's not in, and then put a webcam in the toilet. Bang! That's horrible. Only when she's taking a shit. Listen, you want to come back to my place and watch Carrie? I don't really like horror films. It's not a film. It's a girl from one of my webcams. That's my ride. I gotta go. See you later. Yo, Mum, you're five minutes late. And you best have my damn car snacks, woman. See you tomorrow. Hey, I'm um, sorry about lying to you before. If you wanted to impress me, you could have just been yourself. What? So you're saying, if I'm myself, you might want to go out with me? No. I'm just saying you don't have to try so hard. So if I don't try so hard, then... Night, Joe. Do you want to go to the Gambia? There we go, £100 as agreed. You know Olivier, my friend, but uh, I think they bought it, gobbled it up like a three-ring boneless combo. I want more. Excuse me? Deal's changed. I want more than 100 quid. Now, listen, I will not be intimidated by you, do you hear? I'm not going... <laughs> ah, OK. It's the hero again. Memory, what are you doing? Let me in! I'm sorry, Joe. I'm angrier with myself than you could ever be. You want a bet? Aim for his face, Joe. That's basic self-defence. I really need to get a new job. And these little
little beauties will be back same time here on 3 next Tuesday. And if you fancy a little bit more comedy newness, then you should definitely check out Top Coppers, a cop show unlike any other. The next brand new episode here on 3 tomorrow at 10.